Hi, everybody. This is Greg, the Styrofoam Head, who will be working with us a little bit today in cooperation with this 3D pen we're going to be trying out. Uh, sent to me by the people at... Uh, how is this pronounced? Tkale? It's by Trade Supply China, and as you can tell, it's really very cute. This thing has little paw prints on it. It's got cute little eyes, cute little whiskers, ears, and of course, a cute little nose that you can you can boop if you want to. I've done a 3D pen 3D pen printing video before, and this one, uh, this pen works pretty much the same. Uh, you can put PLA or ABS fiber in it, and you, it basically I think the main difference between those two is it needs slightly different temperatures for it to work, and then you can also choose a speed with it. And when you like, when you up the speed, you can choose like low, medium, or high. And if you like choose high, I had personally I had it on high the whole time. Uh, it just gets a little bit hotter, so that it can pump this weird, colorful, gooey stuff out a little bit quicker. But the cool thing about this stuff is, I don't know if you've used it, um, it is fun to mess around with. It can get a little bit frustrating just because it's so different than anything that any of us have used before. <sighs> it's just not... It can get a little bit frustrating, but you'll get the hang of it fast. It, it It's gooey at first when it's hot, and then as it cools down, it cools down really quick, and then it gets, it gets hard and... Um, thankfully it's not brittle. It's actually pretty, pretty flexible. And as you can see here, this, I'm making a mask today on Greg's face. Greg is a real trooper. And even though he's made of styrofoam and it was burning and melting his face, he didn't flinch or complain at all. Um, and I, and I really appreciate that about Greg. I used to have little burn piles in my backyard and the only thing my mom didn't let me put in those piles of like car I would like burn cardboard and leaves and stuff. And the only thing my mom didn't let me put in those back in those piles of leaves and stuff was styrofoam. So I was a little bit worried about me melting this the styrofoam melted a little bit under the heat of the of the filament coming out of these. So I didn't get any weird headaches. But you know, maybe it'll catch up with me in a in a few years if I keep if I keep going down this dangerous path. Anyway, so you can get a bunch of different colored filaments for this. In the past, when I was playing with a 3D pen, I was just using very basic. I had like, I think I have a big, big, big spool of white filament, a big spool, spool of the black. But uh, with this pen, I got a bunch of different colors, uh, different shades of those colors. And I was excited to use them for this mask, whatever it ended up looking like. I can't tell if it was like a clown, you know, like something a clown would wear to go into battle, but also kind of Mayan, Incan, incandescent, glowy. A couple of these, I shine, I shone my black light on it, and some of these colors, like the, the green and the yellow, did glow under the black light. So maybe I will toy with that later. We'll see. I am, I am a little bit on a bit of a black light thing right now, but, but not too much. I don't want to wear that out. But... If you're looking for a review of this, uh, and you're looking for a for a, for a three D pen, this one obviously is geared towards children, and it works pretty good towards children. Just make sure they know uh, the tip of it does get pretty hot, and the stuff right when it comes out of there. By stuff, I mean the filament. Uh, right when it comes out of there, it's pretty hot. But if you don't touch that, I mean, if your kid, uh, you know, is old enough to use like a hot glue gun, they can probably use this, and, and you know, trust your kids. Kids are smart, smarter than we think they are. They can do it. it obviously, it's shaped like a cat, so your kid will love it. And it has like a, it goes to sleep automatically after a little while, so you probably probably won't burn your house down like some other models of pens. You can just leave them on forever. They do cool down a little bit, but I think this one will even turn off all the way. These pens use the same kind of filament that goes in 3D printers. And so basically, when you use these, you become a human 3D printer. Except we're, we're a little bit less accurate, but a little bit more able to adjust on the fly to, 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 to changes in situations and attitudes and altitudes and weather conditions. And uh, if you want to change what you're doing halfway through, 
you know, you're doing a, you know, you're drawing an eagle. You know, a lot of people make eagles or uh, trees. You can switch from a tree to an eagle halfway through and you'll have a tree goal. That's a, we see, we see that all the time in the biz, as we call it. I reckon if you had enough time and patience and determination, you could make a whole suit of armor out of this stuff. A mannequin would help with that. The only thing is you do want to make sure the mannequin is roughly the same proportions as you. Although this stuff is pretty flexible. I made this on a, on this man on Greg's head here. He, uh, his face is not exactly the same size as mine, but it was still, I was still able to like, it's flexible. And I was able to squeeze it onto my face afterwards uh, and try to suck her on. And I felt regal and I felt powerful and empowered. And I feel like I could do anything after I put that mask on. A colorful creation that I created out of thin air. A 3D. It was amazing. It was exhilarating. I would do it again in a second or a year. I mean, I've got so many projects. I've got so many pro I've got. I'm splintered. I'm divided. We'll see. We'll see what I get up to. Y'all try it out, though. If y'all do any of these 3D creations or any other drawings, you know, feel feel free to, or any, even if you're making like a like a quilt, or a flan, or a, you know, if your yard got struck by lightning, that's, if your yard gets struck by lightning and it makes a cool pattern in the grass or something, I'll count that as your art. Okay, I credit you with that. Tweet it at me. I want to see it. All right, I'll I'll, I'll like heart it and maybe comment. Okay, see you guys later.